researched a lot of primers. There's tons out there. There's kills and bear and bullseye and uh, you name it. There's stuff specifically meant for cabinets. There's stuff that you can use on cabinets, whatever. So I ended up choosing the uh, bear all-in-one. There it is. All-in-one uh, purpose, all-purpose primer, all-in-one primer. It's good on glossy surfaces, cabinetry, wood metal, masonry, uh, you name it. So I'm going to give that a shot. Hopefully it uh, works out. It had very good reviews and the people at Home Depot uh, said they've never had complaints with it and it works very well. So we'll see. So this is my first time using this product. Um, it is a nice thick primer and uh, it's going on good. Good coverage. Like I said, it's not runny at all. No mess. I'm pretty happy with the silver. I was going to do two coats of primer, I still may, just to get that really strong coat on there. But, seeing as the way this is covering, I may not. So, we'll see. But I'm pretty happy with it so far. How's it going? Day two. Uh, day one, I managed to get the cabinet stripped of all the hardware. Uh, I got everything washed down with the TSP, and I got one coat of primer on each side of the cabinets and on the front of the drawers. So uh, I'll show you that now. Show you what I got. So this is uh, what they look like after one coat. So not too bad. Covers well. Uh, it's a smooth finish, it's not rough at all, um, but I think I'm going to go with two coats of primer because I just want to make sure I have a really solid base on there and uh, it's just going to hide the, uh, the color of the cabinetry even more so once I get that second coat on. So these actually uh, have two coats on them because they're so easy to, uh, to paint. Just painting the back side there, that back lip, clipping them around and painting the front. So there's your two coats compared to your one coat in comparison. You can see a big difference. So uh, I'm going to do the two coats, play it safe, get a solid base, and then I'll apply probably two coats of uh, the uh, finished paint or top coat. And we'll go from there. Going with the two coats of primer versus one is personal preference. I think it's better because you get a better base and you can tell this by looking at the one in the middle has one coat of primer and the ones on the outside here have two coats. So now they're not dry, I just put them on. But uh, as you can see they're much more white and it's covered way better than the single coat which is obvious that's it's two coats versus one. It just when it comes to your finished coat it's going to cover that much better and uh, it's going to be a lot, a lot better of a base to adhere to, I think. So, uh, happy with the results so far. Glad I'm going with two coats. A little more work, a little more time. But thing is, you don't rush projects if you want them to turn out really well. And uh, I never tend to rush things, and they always turn out well. As you can see, I now have two coats of primer on the front and back of all my cabinet doors and the fronts of the drawers. So uh, tomorrow, when I get here, we're going to start with the finished coat on the face of these drawers and the back side of the cabinet doors. We'll see you then. I'm ready to go with my finished coat now and uh, we decided to go white uh, with a semi-gloss finish. I'll show you the paint that I picked out for that. This is the uh, recommended paint for cabinetry wood. Uh, you can do metal, once again, just about anything with it. It's a really good quality paint and it's going to stick well to the primer that I used prior to this and it's going to be quite durable. So I'm going to get going on that now. I'm 
about halfway through now and uh, you can really see the difference at least you can under the lighting here I'm not sure if it's going to show as well in the video but this one here is uh, the one laying down has the one coat of semi gloss on it and this one here is the two coats of primer so I can really see the difference the semi gloss is uh, laying out nice and flat it's uh, all the brush marks are coming out of it and it's got a nice little sheen to it. It's definitely going to take two coats, if not three. I'm going to go with uh, two for now. Well, I've got the one coat done now. It takes four to eight hours to cure. So I'm going to turn on the heat, let them sit overnight, and get back at her again tomorrow. So I finished off the two coats on the back of the cabinet doors. I'm happy with the coverage. It looks good. So now I'm going to move on to finishing the fronts. So on the front, I just got the two coats of primer right now. There is a little bit of prep work I'm going to do prior to uh, beginning the final paint scheme on that. The uh, edge there you can see there's just a little tiny bit of a hump if you will um, from coating the sides and it's not on all of them but it is on some. So what I'm going to do is take a 220 grit sandpaper I'm going to give that little profile there a light rub just to get rid of that uh, prior to applying my final coat. So I'm back at the cabinets here. Uh, I actually went ahead and finished off all the painting. So I'll let you have a look at that. So this is what they're looking like. This is uh, what I did. With, actually, my dad gave me a hand as well. We used a foam roller and uh, on top of what I had brushed out with the first coat of finished paint, on top of the two coats of primer. So we wanted better coverage um, and that did exactly that. As you can see, it's nice and thick, covered well, really nice shine to it. Hopefully the lighting's good enough for you to see that. So now on the back side, we put one extra coat with the foam roller and uh, we put the two extra coats on the front with the foam roller to get that good coverage. And uh, really happy with the outcome. They look really sharp and they're gonna look awesome once they're installed. Uh, I'll show you the drawers here. Fronts of those turned out well. I think they have about four coats on them, so they're really nice, thick, uh, nice thick coat of paint on there. So also went ahead and uh, finished off this little project here. Um, so these I'm going to use in my cabinets around my um, stereo, and I'm going to back it with uh, LED lighting, probably a blue. So all I did, I went out and bought a. Uh, acrylic lighting panel. So this is just for a 2x4 fluorescent lights that so you've seen the T-bar ceiling. And uh, took the existing panel there that I removed from the back side. We went over that earlier with the dado and whatnot. So yeah, just put it on here, traced it out, cut it with a utility knife or an alpha knife, and then uh, place that in the back, which I'll show you now. So just put that in the back, fit perfect obviously and then uh, just ran a bead of silicone and wiped it out all the way around the edge and that bead of silicone is holding that in place pretty good so i think they turned out excellent as well and i think that's going to look awesome once they're installed with the, the backlighting i think it's going to be a real cool focal point once you walk in so now i'm going to remove this uh, tape i'm also going to use an alpha knife on that and run it along the edge because your tape can actually paint can adhere to your tape and the cabinet at the same time and if you're peeling back your tape sometimes you'll peel off the edge of the paint as well and that sucks because then you got to go with a little bit of a sanding and then touch-ups and whatnot and who wants to get into that so hardware made a decision uh, we were gonna use me and my wife were happy with reusing the brass so we were gonna use that um, 
they're a little beat up and stuff, and I guess you could say, yeah, it's character. Um, brass is making a comeback with the uh, white cabinets and whatnot, but um, when I was out picking up these uh, little vinyl bumpers here um, for the inside of the door, I saw these, they were on sale. So these were uh, regular 37 for 20, they were on for 25, and the 10 packs of knobs were regular 22, and they were on for 15. So right here I've got enough to do all my stuff here for the main area and the bunk room, and then I'm gonna have to get an additional, I think two packs of each, and that'll finish off the bathroom and the bedroom once I get to refinishing those. So anyway, I'm gonna get down to it now. I'm going to install the hardware. So when installing uh, the hinges, we ran into a bit of an issue. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, so the hinges are the same style. They're just not exactly the same depth for your holes. So they don't line up perfectly, as you can see. You don't wanna just try to wedge them in there because it's gonna have everything twisted and distorted. So what we're gonna do is pre-drill every one in the center. And then you get them on there, good to go. A good idea is to uh, mark your drill bit for depth so you can wrap any kind of tape around there. I did about a quarter inch, um, so it's about a sixteenth or so less than the screw, as you can see. So make sure you're not going to punch through the front. So Dad and I just finished installing all the hardware. Uh, cabinets, cabinet doors are now complete. The drawers, uh, I'll give you a shot of the back there. Pre-drilled all the hinges, as I said. <laughs> Nothing lined up. Uh, and then you have your door latches here we installed as well. And I'm gonna wait until we actually do the install of the camper to uh, install the vinyl bumpers. Just a shot of everything finished. I think they turned out really nice. So the next video is going to be covering uh, painting the cabinets and everything inside the camper and then uh, the installation. So make sure you check that one out. Thanks for watching. Comment and subscribe if you like.